one life to live, Becky's evening of romance is ruined. I don't think I can give 100% to uh, commitment. Because Bo can't forget Delilah. And on the edge of night... I want you to marry me. What? Everyone's getting married. Will you marry me? But does love have anything to do with it? One Life to Live, The Edge of Night, weekdays. Ernie's back at Eyewitness News. You know, when they asked me to come back to Eyewitness News, I started thinking about all the things that we had been through together. And I also thought about all the things that we meant to one another. We'll talk with one As corny as it may sound, I feel like this is family. And I really feel like I'm coming home. Ernie Anastas is back on the 5 o'clock Eyewitness News. Tony Bennett sings 7.30 to... Hello, Val. Derek, what a surprise. Well, I hope it's not an unpleasant surprise. Of course not. I'm always happy to see you. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I wasn't sure what kind of reception I was going to get. Now, why in the world would you say that? Well, because of my behavior the other night. When I ran into you and Skye, I know it was a very private conversation. Please, don't give it another thought. I don't know what uh, could have come over me. Just uh, one of those nights, I guess. You don't have to apologize. Hey, it was nice to see you, shall we say, loose. <laughs> Not your usual retiring self. Is that how I usually seem to you? Retiring? Well, you're just not the most outgoing man I know. No, 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 don't say any more. You're just going to make it worse. Oh, Derek, don't take it that way. It's good for you to loosen up every once in a while. I know you're right. But it's difficult for me. It's just not part of my basic nature. I guess I've made my work, my, my relaxation. It's gotten me a habit. A habit you should break. Give yourself a fling occasionally. Yeah, well, that's, uh, that's good advice. I'll do that. Uh, some time. Find the time. Make time. If you could make some time for me. I mean, I would like to make up for what I did the other night. Maybe I could do that over dinner. Any, any time at your convenience. Well, I'm, I'm sure that'll be fine. Have you got any plans tonight? Uh, excuse me. Crown Studio. Valerie? Hi, it's Skyler. Sky, how are you? Fine. Uh, listen, I want you to have dinner with me tonight. Oh, well. I know, I know I'm calling you somewhat late, but I thought that I'd take the chance. Uh, it's important. Now, I know, I know that it seems that every time I ask you out, I tell you it's important. But this time, this time I really mean it. It is important. I see. Um... Now, look, I, I don't blame you for hesitating, but seems that there were some things that were left unsaid the last time we were together, and uh, the whole conversation must have seemed very ambiguous to you. Yeah. Uh, can you hold on a sec? Derek? Hmm? About tonight? Yeah? Could maybe I have a rain check? You sure, sure you can. Anytime. Thanks. Sky, um, I can make it tonight. What time? Um, I'll pick you up about 7. I'm looking forward to it. Bye-bye. This time, Whitney, everything must be said. Edge of Night is brought to you by Dawn, the dishwashing liquid that takes grease out of your way, and by Secret, strong enough for a man, but made for a woman. Alan, hurry up. We're going to be late. Oh, relax, Dad. My wedding's four hours away. Four hours? i got to finish dressing. Okay. Just let me get my secret first. Use mine. We'll both need something strong today. No, thanks. 
I need my secret. Oh, Dad's spray isn't good enough for you. Daddy, secret roll-on works better than yours. Are you going to have two antiperspirants even after you're married? Absolutely. Secret really helps keep me dry, even when we walk down the aisle. Don't remind me. <laughs> hey, but if it's that good, I'll try it. It's for women. Smell. Pretty. Not like a guy. But if... Uh, sorry, Dad, but don't think of it as losing my secret. Think of it as gaining a bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Secret strong enough for a man. But made for a woman. Great cake, hon. I had to have second. <laughs> you had third, but who's counting? Here's another dish. dish. The dishes are done, and so are the pans. But Dawn can handle that. You're going to wash this after greasy pans? <laughs> no, you are, with Dawn. Hey, nothing feels greasy. The water? My hands? Nothing. And my plate looks as good as the first. No kidding. Dawn did some job on the chocolate cake. <laughs> so did you. Dawn takes grease out of your way. And now Dawn does more than clean dishes. Dawn is dishing out savings. Save right away with this special 50-cent newspaper coupon. Then save again with this 20-cent coupon. Clip both coupons from your newspaper and really clean up with Dawn. Did you look in on Joey? Yeah, didn't like what I saw. She been in bed like that all day long? Yes, yeah, she has been. She claims to have a cold and thinks that sleep is the best thing for her. Well, I can't argue with that. Well, neither can I, but I don't see any signs that she has a cold. No, I don't either. I think it's probably just an excuse. I think she's retreating. She is pulling the covers over her head quite literally. But why? Because of what you're doing, what you're trying to do. I'm not doing You don't anything. have to pretend with me, Nicole. I am not pretending. I never should have told you. I found you at the studio. You have misunderstood the whole thing completely. I understand it perfectly. You found me with Nora's body, and you've been trying to cover up the facts ever since. I don't want to discuss this well, right now. You're going to have to discuss it. I don't care whether you want to or not. Now, listen to me. You can spout that nonsense to anybody else, but not to me. I'm your husband. You understand me? And you have already admitted the truth to me. Now, stop trying to deny it, will you? Just stop I'll it. Stop it! Well, because you had a dream, and you've been trying to turn it into a reality it ever since. It was not a dream. Not only do I remember the series of events at the studio the night of Nora's murder, but you already admitted to me that I was right. You have misunderstood because you do not want to hear the facts. I arrived there before Nora was dead, and she made that tape while I was there, not before. Don't do this to me, Nicole. Please don't do it. Miles, I am just telling the truth. You don't even know what the truth is anymore. You've repeated this lie so much, I think you're beginning to believe it. Yeah, Oscar. Oh, all right, fine. It's Cliff. He's on his way up. Well, thank heavens. It'll spare me any more of this conversation. For the moment, yeah. But at least I see what I have to do. What do you mean? I don't need your statement to prove the truth. You don't have to do it myself. Where are you but going? I'm going out. What am I going to do? Prove who it is that is telling the truth here. Hey, Miles. Oh, oh, beautiful evening. I'm sorry to run out on you. Pressing business. Miles, where are you going? Hey, Miles, we have to talk. Did I interrupt anything? Whatever gave you that idea? Come on in, sit down. Uh, sure. Thanks, I think. Can I get you a drink? Sure. Anything on the rocks. I hope you're not bringing more problems. This case, I mean. Well, not anything we haven't discussed so far. You ready to change your statement to Derek? No, I am not. Well, then, how's Jody? I understand she's been under the weather. Yeah, she's not feeling very well physically. Emotionally, I think it's something else entirely. Oh, really? What? In fact, I'm glad you're here. I've wanted to talk to someone outside. What have you heard? Well, about what? What do you mean? About Jody. When's the last time you saw her? Well, here, a few days ago. That's it? Well, she hasn't been around the rock garden much. I guess she found a new place to hang out. Where is this hangout? Come on, Cliff, tell me. I want to know. Well, uh, there's a new place in town just opened up. It's called the Video Disco. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've heard her talk about that. What's it like? Oh, it's fantastic. They have this entire wall, and they, they, they project pictures on it. And then there's a rock music and flashing lights. It's OK. <laughs> You've been there? Sure. Uh, Mitzi and I checked it out as soon as it opened up. Jody was there, too, and she was looking good. Well, I, I mean, she was looking like... She wasn't looking like the Jody that I know. I, I mean, that she was... Well, you know what I mean. Yeah, I do. I know what you mean. Hello? Ma'am, may I speak to Jody Travis, please? 
I beg your pardon? Joey Travis, is she there? Uh, I'm sorry, she's asleep. May I take a message? Sure, just tell her that a uh, preacher called to see how she's doing. Did you say preacher? That's right, preacher. All right, I'll tell her you called. Thanks a lot. Mm -hmm. Bye -bye. You're welcome. Goodbye. Preacher? He's the creep that runs a video disco. You're just an old chameleon. You're changing all the time. In the sun, your sex appealion. In the shade, your soul sublime. You're driving me up the ceiling with them changing, ranging eyes. You're a bad old mean chameleon. Got your daddy hypnotized. New chameleon sunglasses. They can change your whole outlook. Time to make the donuts. The donuts. It isn't easy owning a Dunkin' Donuts. Time to make the donuts. Because unlike most supermarkets, we make our donuts fresh day and night. But the guys who make supermarket donuts are still in bed. Plain donuts aren't enough. Five kinds. Of course, when you make donuts this good, there is one reward. They taste so great. Good morning, folks. People buy an awful lot of them. Showing off. Oh, little mom, I gotta take a break every once in a while. I've been on the dance floor for almost an hour, you know? Too much exercise is enough. Good for you, know? Yeah, it depends on what kind, don't it? We could fetch your sweet little face, baby. But anyway, the uh, Duke of Disco has got to take a rest, so why don't you beat it, huh? Maybe it's because your jailbait girlfriend isn't here. I would suggest that you go out there and start doing your own thing, because you're beginning to get on my nerves. Chicks, man. I don't know when they're going to learn to mind their own business, huh? Maybe I'll just have to smack her around a little bit for you, huh? Hey, what's this? Check this dude out, man. Man, this dude looks so sharp, I bet he cut himself getting dressed tonight. Hold on. Excuse me. Good evening, sir. How you doing? Welcome to Preacher's Video Disco. Yeah, thanks. Tell me, I bet you're looking for a little disco dancing, right? Wrong? I don't know. I don't know. Well, the looks of this place, I think I'm going to need a drink first. Sure. What do you want? Scotch, all right. Give this man a scotch and let me have another beer, please. Well, you've got one beer. Tell me, uh, looks like you came from a wedding or something. Wedding? <laughs> I just came from the office. Tell me, I bet you this is your first time in a disco, right? Well, it's not quite my first. Well, then why don't you jump out there and crack your back, man? You just, uh, go out and start wiggling, huh? Well, that's what it's all about, man. So you gotta let the music get inside your body. And then your natural instincts will take over, you know? And once you feel it, you just make it up as you go along. But the main thing is you gotta stay loose. Stay loose. That hurt that today already. They make it look easy. It is easy, man. Jump out there and give it a try. I'll watch I'll it for you. Minutes. No, come on, man. You came here to have a good time. Go out there and enjoy yourself. All right, man. I'll see you later. Okay. What the hell am I doing here anyway? I must be crazy wandering into a place like this. You know, no. I'm just trying to loosen up like Val said. So, I'm in here looking for... for what? Oh, stop feeling sorry for yourself. Val's right, I live the life of an old man. So why don't I do something about it? Right now. For a minute. What? What's the matter? You got the wrong approach. Do I? Yeah, take a look at the jacket. Take it off? Yeah, take your money out. I'll keep a jacket for you. Don't worry about it. There you go. Give me your jacket. Now, uh, turn up your short, your short sleeves. Go ahead. All right. All right, there you go. Now, loosen your tie, man. How's that? You feel more relaxed? Yeah, loose. I do feel a little loose. Yeah? You know what you need now? Some inspiration. Damn, baby. Damn, baby. Uh, Check this out. This dude is an old friend of mine, and this is like his... Almost first visit to a disco, and I'm sure you'd just love to show him how to get a handle on things, wouldn't you? Huh? Shit, preacher. Well, I bet you would, baby. Now, you stick with her. You can't go wrong. You understand? You have a good time, all right? Thanks. Thanks. 
relax. I, uh, I'm not too good at this. Just do what comes naturally. Nothing comes naturally. <laughs> You're gonna do okay. Well, I... Actually, Mr. you don't need a partner. Move it anywhere to go. All right. <laughs> hey, you're doing good. <laughs> First time at a disco, huh? How can you tell? Well, everybody's gonna start sometime. Yeah, well... What do you do, anyway? What do I do? Your business, your oh, job. Oh, oh. Uh, don't tell me, let me guess. You're an insurance salesman. No. Doctor? No, 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 no. I got it. Mortician. Mortician? What do I look like? Gets wrong again, huh? Yeah, if you really want to know I'm a cop. You're kidding. No. Well, sometimes I wish I wasn't, but I am. Cop, huh? Uh-huh. That's a real interesting job. Say, excuse me for a minute, will ya? I gotta go. Hey, man, you must, uh... Missed that chapter of my book because obviously you said the wrong thing to her. Yes, so, because she is easy. <laughs> no. How loyal are people to the brands they choose? Would you swap your brand of soap pad for two of this other leading brand? I'll swap. Would you swap your trash bag? For two. Oh, okay, I'll swap. Would you swap your tide for... No. Will not swap my tide. I have children, seven and five. The boy has just discovered baseball. He's discovered sliding into third. If I want to get that dirt out again, <laughs> I'll do it in tide to get them clean. My little girl has discovered wearing no shoes. If I want her socks clean, I wash in tide. How loyal are people to tide? Would not trade. I can't talk you into it. Even for four of them. No. Women just won't give up the clean they get with Tide. Nice. Very nice. Thank you. One rehearsal, four actors, and 20 coffee cups. Around here, we don't like coffee. We love it. I look forward to my sixth cup as much as my first one. That's because my coffee's high point decaffeinated. I don't need caffeine. I'm active enough, thank you. But that's just one reason this coffee lover chooses high point. Oh, that aroma's wonderful. Just look at this deep, rich color. But you know what really matters to coffee lovers? This. Mmm. Deep and rich. Flavor this good has to be deep brewed into a coffee. Try High Point, the coffee lovers decaffeinated. Deep brewed flavor. I think you'll really go for it. I don't understand. I just don't understand what she finds so fascinating about that video disco. Honestly, Nicole, maybe Jody just wants a diversion of a different sort. Well, it might be a diversion for some people, but not for someone like Jody. Hey, there's nothing wrong with rock and roll and dancing, you know? Basically, it's just good, honest rebellion against authority. It's like the 60s, except the hair is shorter. Jody can take care of herself. Don't worry. We all think she's so independent, so mature. We forget she's still a teenager. And you have to admit, she's very level-headed. Oh, I don't know. I used to think so. I wonder now. She's so vague about her activities or whereabouts. I say, where are you going? Out. What are you going to do? Nothing. But she never used to be like that. Nicole, did it ever occur to you that maybe she doesn't want to tell you her troubles because she thinks you have a lot of your own? She's changed her appearance, too. Well, I'll admit that. She certainly does look different. And what about this guy, Preacher? What's he like? I don't really know. Missy and I just met him the one time. I would say that he's a creep. Probably wasn't very popular, and so he manages a place like that so he can be important, you know. Not exactly Jody's kind of guy. I don't like the sound of it. Neither will Miles. Oh, I wish he'd come home. Dr. Kavanaugh. 
then she talked about the arrangement with Nicole. $25,000 for admitting I didn't try to rape her in my office and for telling the truth about Barbara Montgomery. I remember telling her I wouldn't allow any damn blackmail of my wife. And then I went toward her, tried to get my hands on her, stumbled and fell. But I must have gotten up then and killed her. Then the cold came, standing over me, right here. That's the way it happened, Nicole, and there's nothing you can do about it. Miles, these are only dreams, stumbling over each other in confusion, don't you see? You only think you remember them this way. I'm not just imagining it. I'm telling you what happened. You came directly from the bar and found me in the studio. Nora was dead then, so you took me to the car and left me there. That's true, isn't it? Yes, all right, it's true. But you've got to keep quiet about it. Please, don't tell me. Hey, Miles, man. Hello, Glenn, how are you? Hi, how are you doing? All right. Good, and uh, Nicole, we miss her around here. Well, she's holding up pretty well. That's good. Is there something I can do for you? Yeah. You could tell me something. Are you absolutely positive there's no way anybody could sneak out of this place without going through those front doors? No, there's no way. I mean, that's the same question that cops have been asking me and everybody else around here time and time again. It's always the same answer. I mean, there's not a hole in here big enough for a mouse to squeeze through. Now, if somebody had a little place to hide, they wanted to hide, yeah, they could find it. But there ain't no way they could get out of here without being seen. Look, I gotta get going. You take care of yourself, okay. huh? Thanks a lot. This be all right, sir? All right. Fine. Thank you. Would you like um, white wine? No, a dry martini, please. Okay, uh, two dry martinis, straight up. Well, this is a little nicer than the last place we were at. That place wasn't so bad. Oh, by the way, Derek dropped by the studio this afternoon. Did he? Yeah, and he apologized for barging in on us. Well, didn't matter much. As a matter of fact, I should be grateful to him. That's exactly what I said. You didn't mind him interrupting us either? Oh, come on, Sky. You know that I wasn't happy with the conversation. You gave me the distinct impression that you're trying to tell me that you don't want to see me anymore. Do you want to know the truth? I would prefer it, yeah. That's exactly what I was going to say. At the heart of a well-chosen pineapple are a few slices that are the sweetest, tenderest, juiciest, the best. And only the best part is good enough for Dole. Packed in its own juice with no sugar added. Because Dole knows what a sparkling texture this brings. What a flavorful touch. What a juicy delight the best part is. So make sure you get only the best part of the pineapple from Dole. Sign this petition, Georgie. Petition? She wants to call Kraft Macaroni and Cheese Kraft Cheese and Macaroni. Annie, the cheese can't come first. But it's the cheese sauce that makes it taste so good. Kraft Macaroni and Cheese Dinner, made with genuine Kraft cheddar. What could taste better? Annie, people won't call it Kraft Cheese and Macaroni. Are you kids enjoying your Kraft Cheese and Macaroni? Thanks, Mom. Kraft Cheese and Macaroni. Hmm. Ryan's Hope. I thought those days in your apartment were too good to be true. Nothing's good. It's based on a misrepresentation. You arrogant! You... Ryan's Hope. And that's why I'm grateful to Derek Mallory. He stopped me from saying something stupid. Why were you going to say it? Sometimes I look at us and uh, I wonder whether we're actually right for each other. 
don't start that again, Sky. It's just, Valerie, that you're a very sweet and a decent person, and I'm... What? I'm what I am. I'm selfish, self-centered, I'm used to getting my own way. Okay, so you're not perfect. Why don't you look at the good side for a change? All right. I'm just trying to get used to what you're going to hear from people when they find out we're engaged. What? Yeah, they're going to say, now, what is a nice girl like that marrying that spoiled brat Sky Whitney for, anyway? <laughs> I don't care what they're going to say to you. Frankly, I don't give a damn either. But I want you to marry me. You'll have me. Once a year, Marty and I go camping. Marty does the fishing, I do the cooking. And I don't forget my Nabisco Triscuits. Ever tried a Triscuit pizza? Just grated cheese, tomato sauce, and any topping, all heated up. Triscuit wafers are like a whole snack menu in one box. Mmm. Oh, hi, honey. Did you catch our dinner? Mm-hmm. Like I say, don't forget your Triscuit. We've got snacks for one, snacks for all. You want to be model, it's a nervous time for you. You're feeling so tense, but frame after frame. Your style is coming through. Soft and dry, roll on, we'll help hide. When you're nervous inside. Soft and Dry creates a new roll-on. Its drier formula dries super fast to fight nervous perspiration better than the leader. Soft and Dry Roll-On will help hide when you're nervous inside. Tonight on ABC's World News Tonight is California breaking apart, threatened by more bad weather, continuing erosion, and new cracks in the earth. Could more disaster lie ahead for the coast? ABC News, uniquely qualified to bring you the world. Good afternoon, I'm Ernie at Astis. Coming up today at 5.30, television and radio personality Arthur Godfrey is dead. He was 79 years old. He died at Mount Sinai Hospital here in New York. We'll have a full report, and we'll also have this for you. The guardian angel's Lisa Sliwa is in the hospital, and her husband, Curtis Sliwa, believes the transit police may be involved. I'm Chi-Chi Williams, and I'll have that story. And I'll have a report on students learning to communicate, all coming up today at 5.30. See you then. 42nd Street, Broadway's all-time musical hit. Some seats available tomorrow night. Call Telecharge 246-0730. Wednesday, an illegal army plans to take over America. This won't do. And the high-performance team gets caught in their trap. Then, Colt heads for Palm Springs to save Tad Hunter from a murder charge. A good stunt will get him every time. The fall guy. Then things are heating up. If you're asking me if I ever went to bed with my wife, I did. Stephen's out to patch up his marriage. Aren't you going to come in? On Dynasty. Tonight. Thursday, journey through time and space into the realm of the magic planets. 
Hi, I'm David Hartman. Tomorrow on Good Morning America, we'll visit Ireland on St. Patrick's Day. We'll talk with Garrett Fitzgerald, the Irish Prime Minister, about Northern Ireland. And we'll visit the home of President Reagan's ancestors. Also tomorrow, Helen Reddy and Flip Wilson on Good Morning America. Frankly, sweetheart, I've changed my mind. Oh, I've changed my mind. Tropicana Golden Pure is changing people's minds about orange juice because Tropicana Golden Pure is the one with fresh squeezed taste. Oh, and one human changed my mind. If you think all orange juice is the same, Tropicana's gonna change your mind. Yes, I've changed my mind too. <laughs> Tropicana's gonna change your mind. John Schneider goes country tonight at 7.30. Regularly scheduled programming will not be seen at this time so that we may bring you an ABC after-school special. Have you ever been ashamed of your parents? On today's after-school special... You're going to be a cook? What's wrong with being a cook? Vacation is ruined when Fran's mom takes a job as a maid. Brenda told me all about how your mother has to slay for the fair child. I know you think I've somehow lowered myself to take this job. Marion Ross of Happy Days stars in Have You Ever Been Ashamed of Your Parents?